Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Football Corner. Welcome back to another live stream, another show, another video on the channel. Big ups to everybody that is in here nice and early. Big ups to you all and big ups to my panel that I have here. Firstly, guys, make sure you're smashing that like button. Make sure you are subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And let me introduce my brilliant panel right here to my, or technically to my, to my right. <laughs> Uh, on here to my right it is nick it is nick from football foot, football football club football that yeah that's how we say it in football. the balkans yeah football yeah, yes yeah. football club big up to nick um a debutant on the channel been wanting to get him on there for a minute man i've been watching uh, just to give you guys a clarification i watch these guys videos in my spare time i just i, I watch his content as a fan so <laughs> It, just just throw that bro he, he makes such good content his link will be in the description make sure to go and check him out he covers everything any news anything that's happening it gives his points of view so make sure to go and get his uh subscribe to his channel guys make sure to get that done to the bottom we're going to the guys that are currently out of top four. <laughs> the 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 way that the panel is shaped up right now, it mirrors the Premier League table right now. So we are gonna go to the guy that is not so low, but is out of the top four at this moment in time. It's none other than the great, the miraculous Michael Griggs in the building, in the building, my people. Yes, Michael, how you doing, mate? Doing good, bro. Why did I call you Michael, bro? Why did I call you Michael? I don't call this guy Michael. I'm going to call you Griggs, bro. <laughs> it's weird when I call you Michael, bro. It's weird. Although it's your name, it's weird, bro. I call you Griggs, bro, because I just know you as Griggs, bro. Big up, big up, Griggs, man. How you doing, man? You good? Doing good, bro. Country won 5 0 yesterday. Man, vibes are good. Vibes are good. There you are. Hey, <laughs> right, listen, man. Listen, we're here, man. We're here. We're here. You know what I mean? Um, Abraham Diaz. Um, they uh, give it up, uh, give it up, you know. What I mean, I right, listen, man. Wait, listen, let, let us let us do our thing, man. Let us do our thing, you know. What I mean, um, well, yeah, listen, big up to you. And last but not least, you've seen him on the channel before, you'll see him again. Hey, this guy's everywhere, yeah, he's famous, known as the one that 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 actually I have to big up Andy here, actually, because if we didn't big up Andy. If, the, if it weren't for Andy, Hamza wouldn't have had to put out that combined 11. <laughs> Hamza would not have to put con that combined 11, yeah? Andy <laughs> took one, took one, bro, he, 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 took, he took one for the team, bro. He said, you know what, bro, Hamza ain't getting out of this alive, bro. He's got to put that combined 11. There's no way I'm seeing this guy go off scot-free, bro. So Andy, winter surfer in the building as well. Big up, Andy. How you doing, my brother? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. Uh, international break happening. England versus Brazil. Uh, not, I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. Uh, should, you know, all good though. Um, let's just like just get the Premier League back. Uh, even even my sorry club. Let's just get this. I just I just can't bear international breaks. At this oh, time. bro! Subscribe to the channel, please. Tell me about it, man. Tell me about it. Listen, man, it's, it's, uh, at this point, the only thing that's keeping me alive is I'm going to about, about to see this. Uh, I know I know he's about to say give it up, but I'm about to see this Brahim Diaz debut, bro. That's all I'm nice. saying, bro. Listen. Nice. We're there, man. Angola, we're coming for you, man, bro. Hey, don't, 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 don't catch me outside if we win 4-5-0, bro. That's all I'm saying, isn't it? That's all I'm saying, bro. <laughs> Brahim Diaz, ZH in the same team. Hey, listen, it could get techie for a couple of teams. Anyway, listen, we are not here to discuss that. We are here to do the most overrated players from each of the top six clubs. That is Liverpool, Arsenal, Man City, Manchester United, Chelsea, and the Spuds from across the road from me. Um, so we are going to be covering all the six clubs. We're going to be doing the most overrated players from those clubs and the way I'm going to do it is, obviously, we'll, you guys will give um, each of your overrated players or who you think is an overrated player. If it is a draw, then we will let the chat decide. But hopefully we can all have not a different answers, but hopefully somebody can have the same answer as somebody else. And then that is the overrated player for that club. Um, but yeah, listen, guys, 
Make sure to look at this guy, bro. Why is he already starting, bro? Why is he already starting? Why is he already started, bro? I knew so so what not the guy that I put in the in the thumbnail, yeah. Is he not overrated? Yeah, fair, 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 fair. I it's it's gonna get techy, then it's gonna get techy because can't lie. I kind of I kind of told on myself on who I was gonna pick, but listen. Big up to you guys, and I think the first club we should start with. I think we need to leave um, the best club for last. Um, let's start off with uh, Manchester United. Yes, uh, Griggs, I'm going to pass the torch over to you, my brother. I want you to talk to me about who you think. Give me, give me who's in the runnings for the overrated players in your. I mean, you see it from your fan base. Which players do you think they overrate in your fan base? Um, obviously, we'll give you our opinions, but who who do you think they overrate in the uh, Manchester United fan base? That's a tough one, you know, because most of my players aren't even reading these days. So <laughs> it's, tough to, it's tough to pick. Well, we're meant to be the shit. We're meant to be shit, right? That's what everyone tells me. So, like, oh, look, like, so Nana's not reading. On, they make they make fun of Onana every day, right? Um, uh, mm. what's called? obviously Bruno's like the obvious answer, but he's kind of his ratings have kind of taken a hit. So, but he has to be in the running because uh, he did. I did see certain people confirm to KDB, so automatically in the running for there. I think Casemiro should be up there. I think some United fans kind of gas him up a little bit too much. Obviously, like he's all timer and all that kind of stuff. But talking about just United, just for United, um. Technically, I guess I could put Rashford in there too. There's something that there are some United fans that do overrate him, but there are some that underrate him a lot too. So it kind of balances each other out with Rashford. To be fair, I think he has a lot more haters than like a Bruno, for example. As much as Bruno gets uh, hated by United fans, Rashford has much more haters. Um, who else? Isn't um, there another player? Isn't there like a you know a certain striker that's uh, ooh, French? That's French. Hey, who, no, 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 no. Who rates him anymore? No, let's be sure. There you are. There you are. There you are. There you are. Hey, listen. All, all I'm gonna say, anymore, all I'm gonna say is that I, 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 I keep on seeing fraudulent tweets. Hmm. Bro, if okay, if you're seeing tweets from people that have MUFC in their in their handle, they don't count. They, they, they're irrelevant. <laughs> they're irrelevant. They don't count. They don't count. I, that's like half the fan base were like, God, there you go. So yeah, after half their opinions don't count. Um. <laughs> So no, I'm not much. Yeah. Um, I don't ask, Gar bro. Garnacho. I'm not putting Garnacho on overrated, but he's a kid. Um, I'm not gonna put him in there. I think you know what? Just because of how much Staffy hates Garnacho, I'm not putting him in overrated because Staffy carries a torch of hating Garnacho. So I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm not gonna put him in there. Okay. Um, do you wanna do you wanna know Staffy? You should say Delo. That's what you wanna know if you wanna know Staffy. Nah, that was, one, that was that was one <laughs> over. That was one over. <laughs> Six months ago, I would have told you Dalo. Six months ago, it would have been unanimous for me for Dalo, but now nah, he's won me over. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go with the Bruno Rashford Casemiro. I'm not putting Leech in there. I know Arsenal fans want me to put him in there because they hate him because he chose certain because he chose me over you, and you're so a little bit petty about that because you could have had him instead of that uh Ukrainian dude, Zinchenko. <laughs> there you are. Um, so are. yeah, uh, Yo, Sancho doesn't count. No one, no, no, no one. What about Timber? You didn't, you technically you know, didn't steal Timber from me. You bring, because... you know, bring Tim, to bro, bro. He, you lot were all over him like a rash. Please, Lash, that was, no, the thing about the old days. Yeah. The thing about the old days. Yeah. Is the old days. Yeah. The old days. Look at this That's guy. You, you days. man saw him in, an, in, in. You man saw him come out with that interview in an Arsenal kit and this and that. Yeah, but Ajax and then you were like, hold on a minute, bro. I don't think this guy's gonna he come. Has, no, wait, Timber has has had about Ooh. three Premier League minutes this year, by the way. So give it up. Um, <laughs> can you at least complete an hour of Premier League football before we start gassing up Timber? Thank you. There you are. Um, there you are. So yeah, I guess I go with that. I guess I go with that three: Bruno, Rashford, Casemiro. Well, I'm not gonna lie. Based on like, if I had to, based on what the term "overrated" means, hmm. like I think Casemiro has more ratings across football and across like social media than like a Bruno. No one rates Bruno. Let's be hmm. serious, bro. Mm -hmm. No one really rates Bruno. There's obviously a couple of United fans that do, but but majority, if you go on social media and if you go on the content scene, who really is going out there on YouTube on their platform and big you know Bruno like that? Can't really name you. Uh, no, no, no. Listen, I couple, I've still seen. There's a couple, obviously, seen some but big. 
platforms, bro, where they're having arguments and saying that that well, on no, on a why, on, why would I come... talk about a Hungarian that doesn't even play for my team? We'll leave that for yeah. your club, bro. It's United. Sponge, but we'll yeah, leave SpongeBob SquarePants for your club. Don't worry, man. Hey, it's coming, like, it's coming. Don't worry, man. I felt Mel, was just trying to get it, bro. Relax, man. Liverpool's coming. <laughs> Liverpool is coming, broski. We're here, bro. We're here. We got, we got, we got, we got a, a few from Liverpool, but yeah, listen. I go Pinks, Casemiro, I, but I have a feeling who everyone else is gonna pick. So I, I, so it won't be unanimous. I'll go Casemiro. Okay, fair enough. Um, Andy. Yeah. Who are you? I'll, I'll leave the two, the two uh, arch nemesis rivals. Uh, <laughs> you know, what I mean, the two arch yeah. rivals. To yeah. at the end, bro, because me and Nick. Arch nemesis, I, I don't wish you like that. Don't guess it. Don't guess it. <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, chill, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, bro. I, 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 I want. Bro, yeah, I want my arch nemesis to win the league. What I want, what I want my arch nemesis to win the league. Sometimes, sometimes when, sometimes when no, it, no, 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 your 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 evil your most evil enemy is in the runnings to get their. Um, 20 20th league title, and the other one that is d- d- supposed to be yeah, the little bro, that's the one that's nemesis. supposed to okay. So, we're saying Griggs, that's when your biggest Griggs, rival, bro. The Griggs, the term you want, they want to well, use one of, is one of, one of, one frenemies. Of. It's frenemies. Griggs, they want to use no, 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 we're not frenemies. We're not frenemies. We're not frenemies. Spit on these guys, bro. Maybe to you, I'm an arch rival, but me growing up, all I've known you is as little bro. I just beaten you my whole life. He's <laughs> true. So that's all you've been to me my whole life. So, so hold on. So hold on. That's basically changed because you know, life, you know what? This guy, this guy wants to, this guy wants to switch me. This guy wants to switch me to to another bro. Do you realize that I won the league at your ground? I'm <laughs> very sad. I, I don't care. I don't old, care. Were you? Were you, were you okay, Michael? I Griggs. Were you breathing? <laughs> I didn't what know what breathing? your name was. What are you bro, breathing? I didn't know what, didn't know what football was. Bro, it doesn't matter. What, what are you breathing, was. bro? What are you breathing? <laughs> the kid wasn't even a fan. If you were breathing, it counts. If you were breathing, it If you were breathing, exist. Mama and dada, that's you... all I do, bro. Okay, that's, that's fine. <sighs> okay, so oh, your mama and dad witnessed that, and then they passed <laughs> it to you, bro. <laughs> you, you would have, you would have, you would have. I wasn't in England, bro. Okay, but the consciousness was there, bro. You know what I mean? You, you would have felt it. You would have, you would have felt, you would have felt a presence, presence in the force, bro. You know what I mean? Oh, I did it for the I'm saying, bro. Since 2002, bro, we've had like 20 years. Nah, this is bad. This is bad. Didn't feel it, Anakin Skywalker. Didn't feel the force. None of them felt that force. They felt yeah. the force when I beat you A2, though. They definitely oh. felt that force. Ah, that caused bro. a huge force. It probably made a Star Wars movie. I won. I won. I won. I won the league at your ground. Hold that. <laughs> yeah, Tell me you had to give a brother. Have you ever won it? Have you ever won it? Oh wow. Wow! So hold that. Wow! So hold that. <laughs> More than you Great. believe. And guess what? I was here to witness that. I was breathing for that. Okay. So I was okay. You know. You know. You know how. You know how I'm gonna end this all right now. You know how I'm gonna end this all right now. You're dog shit right now, and I'm brilliant. So hold that. Hold that right now. Yeah, I've still hold seen that. more Premier League than you ever. Great. Seen Brilliant, brilliant. So that Great. Nothing. You dominated the league. You dominated the league by getting cheated by cheating. Cheating, yeah. You call Manchester. City no, no, no. Don't compare me with <laughs> We, we don't, we don't. We, every Ferguson. listen, people, people that know know the truth about Sir Alex Ferguson. You, your, you know what? It's how, this guy, how this guy didn't do? Okay, how this, how this guy didn't do? How this guy did not do interviews after the game? Yeah. How how certain offsides, <clears throat> Wayne Rooney, yeah. <laughs> Did not get called offside, so it's all good, man. We're there, man. We watched it. We watched it live. Oh, before VAR was a thing, these men were cheating, bro. That's why they bought VAR in. Anyway, um, let's carry yeah, on. Right right we years later. Yeah, give I, don't it up, we, I don't know why. I don't know why we went all into that, bro. But anyway, you said you um, said man, you, you said it, bro. you call yourself <laughs> arch nemesis. <laughs> I, I'll rid you like that. It's as simple as that, bro. Bro, halas, halas. Don't worry, man. Watch it when if I win the I win the league that your ground, bro. Don't at me. Don't at me, bro, because I'm, I'm... I I'm don't care about that. I don't care right about now. that. Halas, halas, halas. I don't care halas, about halas. that. Means that, that, that means that the two top right didn't win halas. the league. That's what's more important to me. That's my arch nemesis. That's the club halas. I hate more halas. than anything in my life. That's halas. Halas. my arch nemesis. <coughs> Yalla, go winter. Yalla. These Man United fans, bro. 
It's the, arro it's the arrogance. It's the arrogance that pisses me off, bro. This is why, bro. I don't feel sorry for these guys, bro. I love every single single second of it, bro. I I I pray. I pray and hope Bruno Fernandez stays at your club for so much more longer, bro, than you deserve, bro. You you need him to stay for at least ten more years, bro, into old age, bro. I'm talking Phil Jones settings. Hold that. Oh, anyway, go ahead. Uh, same way Arsene Wenger always said about eight years. Yes, come, bro. There you are. There you are. Hold that, bro. You listen, all I'm saying, yeah? yeah. All I'm saying is that David Moyes came and ruined your club. <laughs> and, 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 and and the worst thing is, it was an own goal, bro. Yeah, yeah, your, and it your, was an own goal. And your manager has copied his whole philosophy, by the way. It so was an own... That's David great. Moyes. Everybody everybody, everybody uses that philosophy. <laughs> but anyway, listen, all I'm saying, yeah? All I'm saying is it was an own goal by your own greatest manager, bro, and your own club, bro. How can you oh. score an own goal in your club by bringing in David Moyes? It was his recommendation. So Alex Ferguson went to the board and recommended That's him. crazy. Anyway, We've been shit for ten years. Bro, and you still haven't why, seen a prem. Why are we moving? Why are we? Why are we getting onto this conversation? Oh, exactly. yeah, yeah, Please I take it away, bro. Take it away, bro. We'll it's the only argument where someone said to someone, "Your parents fell. <laughs> your parents knew about. <laughs> your parents knew has been in the league. <laughs> your parents knew." <laughs> <laughs> oh, he chooses man. to support United. Remember that time? I'll, remember, I'll tell you now. You were two years old. You don't remember shit. But there was this one time you didn't when you had a nose. You didn't know you had a nose. You were you were as big as a football at two years old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let, let me do this overrated by uh, my own fan base. All right. Uh, obviously, the guy in the thumbnail is going to be up up there because there's a civil war uh, between like you know stuff like that. So Enzo is going to be in there. Whether you're a rival or not, he's going to be up there. For my own fan base, I'm going to put uh, Mr. Ben Chilwell up there. Whoa, whoa, um, whoa, 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 uh, whoa. I think, I think someone's choosing more Hold on a minute. Oh, whoa. Winter's, Winter's trying to get into the freaking main course. Hey, relax. Hey, Manchester, Manchester United. Manchester United. Manchester oh, Man United. United. Sorry, I thought you meant. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. I thought I didn't we were going like, to be no. honest. I didn't explain it properly, bro. This oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Right I thought. So, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Manchester, Manchester United, brother. Manchester United. Oh, Manchester United. United. Um, too, too many names there, bro. Too many. I think. See, I think it's pretty hard sometimes when the clubs are outside the top six because when we're not playing well, I don't think most fan bases overrate their players. So it's like I think Bruno's the I think Bruno's the Bruno's the obvious one. It's like with Enzo with mine. It's like Bruno's the obvious one. Um, and then when I hit, but see, I stream with I stream with a lot of Man United fans, and I don't think they overrate their players. That's the problem. Um, so, um, I'm going to, I think what I'm going to put, I'm going to put for my own basic, so I'm going to put Varane in there, but only because I'm disappointed. I think he should have done more at United. I think he should. Have, now, injury is going to play this, so it's probably unfair, but I think him coming in, he should be, you know, he should have put, in, in professional terms, he shouldn't put Maguire in his coffin. You know what I mean? He should have, like, he should have put him out. So, that's that's just me and... Um, who else? See, this is tough because <laughs> I don't rate a lot of their players at the moment. But the same with my mind, so it's like I'm just trying to think. Um, maybe things pretty obvious, though, isn't it? It's probably like Rashford or something like that. But it's mm. I can't put anti Martial because he hardly plays. Um, yeah, well, I'm. Not it's, it's very it's difficult because yeah it's not see yeah i'm gonna put this i'll put varan of my own and bruno and and uh rashford but it's, i the, think that's, that's the reason why it's so difficult the reason why it's so difficult yeah is because how griggs looks right now is how a lot of their fans have looked for the, oh, the whole oh. season no no but i'm just saying you're you're just your face so now they're not buzzing Last at the start of the season, yeah, we should have seen how these men were jumping, yeah. So let's just let's just let's just retrace our steps and let's go back to the summer. After uh, I'll tell you the exact game after they beat us in America. After they beat us in America, we're making about you again. About, no, 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 you see, no, 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 hold on, hold on. After after they beat us. 
after they beat us, these man were talking about tight. These man were talking about bro. Forget about third, bro. I think we can su- surpass Arsenal right now, bro. We can we can really take it to City this season. So let's let's not let's not start doing. Yeah, but that, uh, I yeah, but they, are, are they we said, I think I said I think you I said are we. I think we need to just set the rules. Are we doing this by who we think are overrated or who we, the fans are telling okay. us? Okay, you know let's, let's, like, let's do it as how who we think is a okay. That's is, fine. Is, is if an we're doing it, okay. we're doing it by if we're doing it by this, and probably fair to Griggs. I don't. Griggs might have celebrated like a preseason win over Arsenal. But I don't think he was coming in. I was thinking, actually, that was live. I was doing live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I don't think he was like going. Yeah, defo <laughs> title charge now. Defo title charge now after that. Hey, me to change my life. <laughs> I know, I know he did, I know he did, but yeah. So I, I'll, I'll go with them it's because someone's put like, oh, put McTominay. I don't rate McTominay, so why would I, put, why would I think he's overrated? I don't think he, I don't think Man United fans think he's that good either. They, do you know what I mean? There's like a select few, but not like overall that he's like, yeah, that he's a he's a great player and stuff like that. It's it's, it's pretty it's pretty hard because like you said, Man United, even though they're like six, I don't think most Man United fans have enjoyed their season or how they played. This year, apart from one or two games, like Sunday, it's like Sunday you would have, you would have thought, and fair dues because they beat Liverpool and they weren't expected to. You would have thought it was like a Champions League final win. Some some of the, some of the streets, but that's understandable. Was, I think it was their cup final. Well, At that no, point, no, it was. It's, it's, it was that they 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 no, one they were gonna, no one thought they were going to win. Let's be honest with you. Even like maybe the staunchest of United fans. I did. Thought they I predicted a win. Of course you did. Of course you did. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I, yeah. I remember you. Did. Check the tapes. Check the tapes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe I'm just, just Griggs then. Mystic Griggs. Crazy, Mystic Griggs. Mystic Griggs. You know what? I was there, Mystic bro. Mystic Yeah, I, said I was there. I know my squad. <laughs> so, that's so, it, yeah. so, so, so who did you say? Is, I is said Varane, Rashford and Bruno. Do you think Varane is overrated? I No, I think for what I... I think I put it to myself from what I've expected of him. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I think he's like... Okay. Been, you know, I mean, if you got yeah. Maguire still hanging around, you know what I mean? It's like there's a player. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess we'll move to Nick then because it's started already. Go on, Nick. Who do you think is uh, overrated from the Manchester United squad? I mean, if United fans themselves don't rate a player, how are you supposed to say they're overrated when they're not even underrated? So Bruno Fernandes is obviously the top in that. Even Griggs even pointed that out. Even Andrew made mention of that. This is the thing with Delo. Has he been overrated or has he just performed to a level that is above every other United player that makes him stand out more? You know what I mean? It's like one of those things. It, I can say the same about Liverpool when we get to it, but like you, when you're looking about it, <coughs> Garnacho has done bits. Again, he's 19. He's still coming into this squad. Is this whole I want to be Ronaldo thing real though, Griggs? Like, is that a legitimate thing? No, I'm like 95% sure he has like Ronaldo socks and like under- and underwear. Like I'm like ninety five percent sure he probably that shit, bro. That's mad. That's madness. Mm-hmm. Um, Rashford. This is the thing, though. If a player has been at a certain level and then they've dropped off, does that then consider them to be overrated, or have they just fallen below their expected levels? Because mm-hmm. if that if that's the case, then you say Rashford has fallen way below his expected levels. It overrated means a player came in with like this massive expectation and they haven't hit. Um. So even then, you probably say Bruno maybe has hit in the start. Lately, he has been whatever. Um, and I've seen a lot of people go at Statman Dave on Twitter as well when he's put, oh, fantastic game from Bruno, fantastic game from yeah. Rashford, and all the United fans like, the fuck are you looking at, bro? He was absolute dog shit, missing passes, doing this, doing that. So I've seen it. I've seen it. Um, mm. It's it's a difficult one, man. Um, I'm not saying this because I think they're overrated, but Hoyland with the expectation he's come in with. I mean, you probably give him a pass because it's his first season in the Premier League. Probably not the most easiest league to come into, maybe. Um, I don't know, man. I'm looking at that. I'm, uh, maybe Garnacho for me. Um, he has moments. You can't even put like some of these other plays in. You can't even put um, Anthony and anyone else like that because it's just no one no one even in the United squad. Griggs, do you rate Anthony? God forbid, No. They, say there you go. So like, like nothing at all. Nothing I go for the goal on Sunday though. I appreciate that, but no, God forbid, man. Man, no one knew he was gonna score, but that's where everyone just said, "Yeah, let him hey. shoot." Oh yeah, no, no, I was doing my thumbnail for my match reaction when he scored. By the way, I, I had to change my I whole heard. thumbnail. I had to change my <laughs> heard, whole man. thumbnail because he scored. No one expected I it. I heard, man. When I saw when I woke up in the morning and I seen the results, I'm like, 
I had to double check. I'm like, I'm fucking dreaming. I'm like, look at this anthem. I'm like, bro, what the hell, man? Anyways, um, I'll probably say in no particular order for me. Uh, obviously Bruno's up there for sure. I'd say maybe someone like a Garnacho. Uh, I, again, it's a bit harsh because he's still young, but based on the expectation and everything else in between, oh, Garnacho's this and that. I'm like, okay, we has got to be doing a bit more. I mean, mm. Mayno's had more of an impact than Garnacho has this season, and he's played what a handful of games, so can't really say that. Um, yeah, maybe. I don't know if overrated is the right term for him, but Rashford as well. He's underwhelmed, that's for sure. Okay, so that, would you say would you say he's underrated then? Not extent. underrated. <sighs> so that's why I said like it's hard to say. Is he over? I think where people expect him to be, to where he is, you could probably say that's an overrated claim there. So yeah, probably overrated. Okay. All right. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Um, for me, it's pretty simple. Uh, Bruno Fernandez, obviously, um, overrated. I'm gonna put. I I, I do understand your your shouts for Dallo uh, mm. in, in regards to the explanation that you were saying. Like, I'm not even. I'm not trying to hate. I think Dallo is 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 being good, but right now, good in that team is just playing to a certain level that's expected, and the rest of the players are just not to that level, or they're not playing to that level. Like, they have that level in them. They're not playing to that level. And you only see drips and drabs of it through certain games, if we're being completely honest. So, I think I think Dallow is just playing to the level um, that's supposed to be played at. And the rest of the team is not, not following suit. Hence why he's the only... Uh, him and Kobe Mainu and these kind of players are... Actually, Kobe Mainu, let me not be disrespectful. He's actually playing out of his skin. But hmm. I, think, I think when it comes to... Um, when it comes to Dalo, I just think he's playing to a certain level. Um, for me, definitely uh, <coughs> Bruno Fernandez. Um, I think Garnacho is overrated as hell. I think uh, people are saying, like Greg said, he's a kid. Like, bro, there, there's being a kid and there's being a cocky bastard. And then every time you score, you all of a sudden, ah, like as if you're Jose, bro. Like, bro, why is he cupping his ears every time and shushing that's people? What, that's, that's, like, that's the best part about the game, bro. That's the curse. That's what I love the most. Yeah, what I love bro. the most. What do you want him to be? A quiet little, a, a quiet little guy that just no, no, but bro, bro, you're you're listen. You're in a, a really bad place right now as a team. Be humble, bro. Right now, bro. You see, Kobe humble, Manu, Kobe humble, Manu, hype, Kobe Manu, humble, Kobe, Kobe Manu. I'm not here to be Kobe humble. Kobe Manu scores. Kobe Manu scores. You ever? Bro, Kobe Manu went like this when he scored. By the way, Kobe Manu went like this when he scored. By the way. Yeah, yeah, with his fans, bro. With his fans. Okay, bro. This guy's away at Galatasaray like this. Yeah, it was bro. a Champions League on, night. He scored within the first have five respect, minutes. Bro. You have some respect, crowd. bro. Nah, they have can hold respect, that too. Bro. Galatasaray fans can hold that. And he got dunked on, bro. So it's so good. <laughs> we didn't actually anyway. we didn't get dunked on that game. So you want to get specific. Oh, oh we, we, <laughs> we drew. <laughs> There you are. Yo, there you there's are. nothing wrong with you. Yo, you're just mad that maybe, maybe because Martinelli you're doing this humble dog, this humble hype with Arteta and stuff like that. Maybe, Alistair, maybe Arteta Martinelli. runs that kind of that kind of club. We, well, have, we have class. We have class. We have class. Class hype. I want my players to be expressive. Oh, that's, what, that's, that's what sports is about. Yeah. So if my guy scores a goal and it's a, and it's a first goal on an away ground in a UCL night, go ahead, tell the crowd to shut up. Who cares? That's anyway, the beautiful part. Shut them down. I think. I think. I think. Apart from that. Um, yeah, I just I don't think he's got I don't think he's all that. I'll be real, Garnacho. I don't I genuinely don't think he's all that. Um he often looks like he rushes stuff. He doesn't he doesn't like slow down and just think, okay, what's my next move? He doesn't think ahead. He's often just freestyling on the spot. He's often just freestyling on the spot. Man. Reminds he's of not anyone by ahead. Who? Sorry. Anthony? No, 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 Anthony? no, no, no. Oh, you're, you're, right. Gonna... you're right. You're in the right vicinity. You're in the right country. You're in the right country, but a certain guy that that wears number eleven for your football club. We'll, we'll get it. 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 We'll get that, Griggs. No, no, no. Wait, still, we got paid at nineteen. By the way, Arnacho has a very similar weakness in his training. No, no, we'll get that, Griggs. We'll get that, Griggs. No, anyway, no, I mean, no, dessert for me. <laughs> hey, we got Griggs, man. We got Griggs. But um, yeah, listen, I think I think Garnacho, Bruno Fernandez, um 
and I'm gonna go with Nana just for the just just for the um the laughs, man, because uh <laughs> the way these man the way these man were talking mad. about him at the start, the way these man talking about him at the start, bro. You think they got Allison 2.0, bro? The way these man were chatting, bro. But um, yeah, anyway, that is my three. Um now obviously Bruno Fernandez has been picked quite a few times. So is that who we're going with, people? Have we come to an agreement? Is that who we're putting up as the uh, the overrated player for Manchester United section? Um, probably. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, just, just denominate just, amongst all of us. Yeah, yeah, because because I, I even think like there's a mixture from even the big Man United accounts. There's more. There's more that like, overrate Bruno than they do like Rashford. You know what I mean? I so he's the like, main culprit, bro. He's yeah, the main it's like, culprit, he's, 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 that's he's the, the cap- he's the captain. As well, that hasn't probably helped him in some Man United fans' eyes as well. That he's the skipper of the team <laughs> probably doesn't help. So, uh, you know, and also then like Greg said, I think Greg said that earlier. That some people said he was like KDP. <laughs> oh my god! god. I saw. I saw a certain yes. panelist I do shit with that. So Wasn't that they were, they were comparing him to KDB when he had that <laughs> mad ball over the top against like Forrest in like the FA Cup or something? Fuck. Something like that. Yeah, but there was just there was discussions like about off. Bruno or KDB. Uh, <laughs> big up Sam in the chat, I'll say. Yeah, yeah big up Sam. Because, because this guy is main character syndrome. Oh, big up Hussam. Wow, Hussam, thank you. Thank you for coming through, bro. Oh, big up to Hussam, man. Go like and subscribe, man. Go subscribe to This Is Football, guys, of course. Make sure to go subscribe to This Is Football, you fraud. Um, no, nah, but seriously, guys, go like go like and subscribe. Um, go sub to This Is Football. Brilliant content over there, man. Make sure to go do that. Um, okay, moving on. Moving on. Let's get to since Hassam is here, yeah. Since Hassam is here, exactly. There you are. There you are. Um, since Hassam is here, let's get to the Liverpool section, man. Who is the overrated players? Um, I'm, I'm, uh, you know what? Funny enough, yeah. I can't lie. Actually, now nah, let me let me be fair. I'm gonna start with Nick. I'm gonna start with Nick. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna start with Nick. No, no, because I was about to, I was about to be, um, I was about to do a madness and start with Griggs, but I feel like that would be a bit too mad. Um, hey, let, me, I don't know just, let me start with you. Yeah, yeah, he's thinking, bro. He's thinking. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a few hits. This is the thing. Like when the team's winning and they're at, at a certain position in the league, you oversee certain performances and certain players. But that's not how it's meant to be because, like you say, if you accept, you know, lacking performances, then you fall into like mediocrity and then you end up becoming, you know, mid-table and shit like that, which is not what we want. So there's a few players in this. Most of them are going to be midfielders and attackers, if not all of them. In no particular order, a lot of people first are going to say Cody Gakpo, Darwin Nunez, Soboslai, because I know mm-hmm. people are frothing at their mouth for him to be mentioned, which I think <laughs> is fair. Um, you probably also got maybe maybe an Elliot, perhaps. Um, Robertson, I see, I see Hassan oh, saying it in there. Yeah. A few right. years ago, Robbo has been um, has been key. Gravenberg is in there as well. Um, there's a few players, man. A lot of people also don't even rate Gomez. I think Gomez is just a product of uh, a poor situation. I mean, we people forget in the, I think it was the 1920 season, he was center back partner with Van Dyke. So, you know, that, that goes saying something where he can perform. It's just shit happens for him. So the most overrated this season, a lot of people are probably going to go with Nunez. Um, and of course, but he's got GNA, he's got the numbers and all this and that in between. I'm going to say, you know, is that, is that a fair assessment? But you can make the same argument for other players like with Bruno, we just did now. Oh, but he gets, you know, sets up chances and all this sort of shit. So if you want to go by stats, fair enough. I still <laughs> say he should be scoring more goals. Definitely no doubt about that. He should be doing much more. And then uh, Soboslai, he's been a bit of a, an odd one. Started the season on fire, uh, having a good couple of months, and then tapered off. And when he plays for Hungary, the guy just he turns into a, uh, to quote a, another, you know, Liverpool uh, I don't know, content creator, a Hungarian Stephen Gerrard, uh, <laughs> because he just banks the goals and leads the line as the captain. I, I get what he's trying to say. It's a bit of a madness when people say, oh, he's like the... Messi of our country or he's like the Maradona of whatever. It's like, cool, make those comparisons and people play off that. Yeah, has underwhelmed 
Um, only two assists and three goals this season. And he's had okay performances, but been playing all over the place as well. So you probably say Sobosly. Um Diaz, he's another one where came with so much promise. He's had his knee injury. He hasn't really been the same player. Again, gets himself goals. I will say he's been more direct in going at defenders these days. He, you can see he's actually, I mean, the, the Man City game, that was absolutely madness. I mean, how he didn't score at least one, just one goal, how he didn't score, that does it for me, man. Uh, he can get past the player. I saw a meme. It's like um, uh, Diaz uh, dribbling. It was like uh, Messi, I think it was, and the finishing was like some some donkey. I forget who it was. Just absolute rubbish. So there, there, there's shouts for him as well. Um, the most obvious one, obviously, is going to be probably Darwin Nunez, um, possibly even someone like a Soboslai. It, it's it's one of them two for me, uh, depending on how hard you want to actually. Um, actually go at players so for, for me especially mm. look <clears throat> even then i've heard some people even say canate is overrated which i don't think so obviously i'm gonna mm. show a bit of bias in there but i mean when he's next to van dyke when it's not matip he has been the player to partner van dyke so when he's not there we, we can see there's it's not the same level of secureness in the back that's less like a mad outside chance but it's got to be between like diaz and, and nunez for me in the, in my opinion of who is the uh, the overrated because there's good there you can be good you can um, as uh, Gattuso says sometimes maybe good sometimes maybe shit so you can't be maybe shit you just have to be good all the time and we don't have good all the time except Mo Salah at the moment as an attacker and Jota when he's fit and hopefully he'll be back soon yeah bro listen I I think I think I agree with a lot of what you said there um <laughs> bro Diaz. <laughs> Brother, uh, what's that? All right, that's hey, big stinks. up to the Aussies. Big up to the Aussies <laughs> down under. I, I, Diaz, Diaz stinks. Bro. I, I'll be so real. I, Diaz stinks. Um, I don't know what happened to that guy, bro. I don't know what happened to that guy, bro. Like it, it, before, he was he was ripping down trees, bro. He yep. actually looked very, very good, bro. I was like, this guy is going to be dangerous for the next three to four years, maybe five years. You know what I mean? All of a sudden, I think the injuries, everything like that got to him. And he mm. kind of, you know, for a bit, he was he was still rated like that, bro. He was still rated like that. But recently, people have been able to see the light and said, oh, you know what? Um, he, he's, he's, he's actually not as good and he's actually costing us a lot of game, a lot of, or costing us, I'm not talking about costing you yeah. guys a lot yeah. of games. Yeah. hundred um, percent not, not, not finishing goals is definitely up there, man. Like he should be for a player, his skill, his finishing is like dog shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think, I think just, just for Hassan's sake, because he's about to have a freaking heart attack down there. Um, yeah. My player that I'm going to put put in is Andy Robertson because, <laughs> it, bro, he, he's just telling everybody, bro, um, bro, look at this guy. This guy's such a fraud, bro. You see how this guy's a fraud? Bro, <laughs> a I'm, a, I'm, 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 I'm not a red. I'm a gooner, bro. Relax, relax, yeah. man. Don't Does, he also think, Does he also think if he, if he doesn't type in capital letters, you won't bring his messages up or something? It's just, it's just so I don't think by capital letters means business. I know, yeah, he's angry. I'll he's so angry. Real. He's angry, yeah. He's angry, yeah. He's I'll, angry. I'll, be so, I'll be so real, yeah. I'll be so real. I think everybody that comes in, yeah, from uh, how I just... Because I go into all of their chats here, and anytime I'm in their <laughs> chats, I'm always typing in caps. If you see me in the chats, I'm always typing in caps. Man, so I genuinely think they on. do it. No, no, because I always have it on. So yeah. whenever so, I go one, in... One more thing real bro. quick. I will say Sober Sly, you probably... Like, I, I afforded Hoyland a bit of, you know, give him a bit of slack first season. Sober Sly coming into a new midfield as well hasn't really adapted as many of the other players have for a play of his promise. And yes, the price tag does play a part. He hasn't been that bad, but he hasn't done anything like, well, man of the match uh, performance type of thing from him so far. So in and out of the squad as well, but still hasn't really performed to the level he was probably expected to. Now, fair enough, fair enough. Um, Andy, who are, you, who are you going for? Um, well, it's probably going to be, yeah, um, I'm going to put Andy Robertson up there. Um, I just don't, listen, I just think he's got a punchable face as well. Do you know what I mean? I just think he's yeah. one of those, <laughs> he's one of those, 
he's one of those he's one of those annoying he's one of those annoying displayers. He's, he's been very good by the way but recently over the last couple of years like you said i think due to um injuries as well there's been a lot of decline and also it's like i don't think they've really the amount of build-up he gets i don't think even when he's been back he's been that effective this season whatsoever as well um so he definitely definitely goes in there um pretty unfair i think, I think partially unfair for the next one is, is also by but when someone says this is why i hate can this is why when someone says someone's oh they're like this player he's the next blah 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 i just it automatically it, it hurts the player no matter when everyone's eyes so and especially when you mentioned like gerard and like i've said one player this this is one player that is the is up there is the one player at liverpool that you don't mention that another player is going to be like because right. the they will never meet they the expectations then of that player to meet that is just insane now, listen, I think he's been asked to do a different role this season as well than he has been at Leipzig as well. It's like they're asking him to do like the Henderson role, but then also be attacking at the same time, which I don't think <laughs> you can do in a club system that way. Um, but he, he will go in there and also the price tag comes into it as well. Uh, unfair to him as well, as well, but also comes in. The third one's tricky for me um, because I'm not going to say Nunes because I actually quite like Nunes. <laughs> so I'm like... But uh, I don't know. It's it's uh, it's pretty tough. I mean, Gakpo, you could say is another one. But then, do we re- do, is he really overrated by the Liverpool fan base, or even do you know what I mean? It's like trying to listen. To this. Like for me, Gakpo is like one of those players. Like at the moment, you just don't know where he fits in right now. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like off the midfield, and what I'm hearing, like I don't really hear him get bigged up by the Liverpool fan base. So it's hard yeah. for me to go, oh yeah, it's Gakpo and stuff like that. Um, yeah. And it's harsh because I, I don't think he is overrated. I think he's he's out. He's performing very well, but I think by default, I don't. I'd have to put Nunes in there just by default. But I'm slowly it's... coming to a realization, bro. This overrated thing. Yeah, it's like, hard, I right? Have said big, I should have said biggest flop, and it would have been maybe you so should have done. Much maybe you should have done. Made yeah, it so much easier, bro. Because we can all name the flops in our club. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. Name just, yeah that's like, going to be like so easy. Like you mentioned a couple of players, and then it's over and done with after that. No, no, exactly. but no, no. Let me take. Let me tell you. Let me take Nunes out. I'm going to put Diaz in. I'm going to put Diaz in. I'm not gonna, uh, because. You're right. It, it, I mean, this season, especially as he's been ups and down personally and stuff like that. But I you know, about that, yeah. I just, yeah, I, I think some of the things he does get, he does get overrated for that he gets a little bit slack for. Like, if Darwin, I tell you what, if Darwin Nunes had missed as many chances against City that Diaz missed, then you would have heard it. You would have that would have been to the oh, moon. Yeah. You would have heard about it. You would oh, have yeah. been. It would have been like two or three days of Liverpool streams going, Darwin Nunes is the worst striker, even from rivals. So, yeah, I think uh, Diaz, I'm gonna, yeah, but Diaz, even though Sam is putting earlier, he, he just straight up thinks he stinks, which is fine. <laughs> but I'll put Diaz, uh, Robertson and, and uh, Sosobo. I'll, I'll, I'll put, I'll put so- Sobo. There we go. I, won't, I can't pronounce the rest of it. So I'll put Sobo. Sobo Sly. Sobo Sly. Okay, Sobo Sly. I think yeah. I'm you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, Griggs. Who are you putting in for this one, mate? Uh, so obviously, like Liverpool squad, I always break Liverpool squad into like different categories. You have the core four that have been there since the beginning, right? They're obviously all safe. I'm kind of with uh Winnet Surfer. I think I actually kind of radar on Nunez. I think he's a headache for opposition. He's just chaos guy, a chaos ball, and I think he has elite ball striking. He just has some of the worst IQ sometimes and just bad moments. Uh Diaz, uh, as on the list, I never rated him to begin with. I thought that he was always mid. Um I, he's he's exciting, but he's also very frustrating at the same time. And if you look at who he technically came in to replace in Sadio Mane, um, you have to factor that in. So like the levels and so, uh, the oh. levels, and so I think he's on there. Cody Gakpo, I'm not gonna kick a guy while he's down. I think that's a little <laughs> mean, to, mean to him because yeah. he's been getting he's been getting cooked all week by Liverpool, uh, by Liverpool con- uh, content creators, YouTube, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. But one thing I'll say about him is I was right. I'm so happy he didn't come to my football club. And that's what happens when you recruit the same guys that Ten Hag wanted. It's spooky. Um, so you guys made that mistake. So you have no one to blame but yourself to be sure for that one. Uh, Robertson is on there because my left back, 
Tsimikas, Greek. Uh, I think he's a better left back. So the fact that I didn't think even Joe Gomez performs better at left back in 2024 than uh, than uh, Andy Robertson. So oh, he's yeah. not even the top two left backs in his own club. So yep. by default, yeah. he's on there. Uh, center backs, Konate, I think is amazing. I, w- I definitely wouldn't put him on there. He's a monster. Yeah, it's just injury prone. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah it's just injury prone. That's, that's that's okay, yeah. But I don't, I don't factor injuries with like overrated. No, no. When, when he's on the pitch, he's quality. In the midfield, we could go SpongeBob as uh, Silver's lie. <laughs> he could be there. But I think because you get Hoyland a pass for like, I, even though I think Hoyland's outperformed massively in the league anyway. But um, I think the first year, also that right center mid role for Liverpool is the hardest role to do because you yeah. have oh, to yeah. factor in who our right back yeah, is and all you have to do yep. like turn defensive duties. And, and who's you, know, you are right when role. he does play for Hungary, they do like a pl- they do like they haven't seen a player that like even half that decent since like probably 1965. So yeah, <laughs> since Pushkas. Just push got, them guys, <laughs> Yeah, very simple. So maybe that's why they they, they gas and like I think he performed well for them. So uh McAllister's cold, Endo's cold. So yeah, I think I'll go with like Robertson and uh Diaz. I don't I don't really have a third guy, to be honest. I think mm. they're probably a good squad, man. It's like bro, like yeah, it's like a couple of players not playing at the levels they're probably expected to, sort of a thing. And it's one of those things as well. Like when when Gomez has come in and literally played pretty much a whole season at left back when he's a center back, and then you've seen it as well. Robert gets subbed off, Gomez goes from like defensive mid to like left back, or he goes to right back and then someone else switches over to the left side or whatever. Like it's madness. Like Robert getting taken off. I thought I'd never see that, man. Yeah, it's also like I also think you have to factor in as well the people overrated is how much of a negative impact they have on the team as well. Do mm. you know what I mean? It's like especially when wherever it comes to misplaced passes or like chances missed and stuff like that. I mean, Liverpool fans, if you don't win the, the league by a point or something like that again from City, you could literally go back to that City game and literally go <laughs> Diaz cost us like we could have won or got points out of yeah. it's not just one game yeah, exactly. everyone's so, gonna go back and say prof come on yeah game. it's like it's like so many missed chances and stuff like that it's just this is one of those but mm. yeah. it's mad um no fair enough fair enough um so i heard diaz in there i heard robertson in there a lot um i've also heard Soberslai is not i think we've come to a consensus that he's 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 rated where he's at right now like they're not overrating him uh according to you guys obviously we're giving a pass because it's his first season um i think i think we can come to a consensus on uh diaz can can we come to a consensus on that or 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 is it robertson i'll I'll say Diaz because robertson also had like some all-timer seasons so We'll give him that respect that he used to be like at least him. Diaz was never mm. him. So <laughs> yeah, Ro- Robert has actually yeah performed consistently over the seasons. Diaz and and Winter brought up a good point. I completely forgot about that. He has his issue with his old man as well, and still mm. playing throughout all that sort of shit. But yeah, when he had his knee injury a couple of years ago, and then he was out for like four months, and then he come back to training, that he injured it again, and it was out for another two months. I think mm. that really screwed him up, and. He, uh, it's only what a year or two later now they actually seem to start taking players on and not afraid to sort of like go forward and, and beat a man. That's one thing, but then after that, you need end product, brother. You need to find mm-hmm. the finishing. No, yeah. 100%. Um, right, these ones, these ones should be a bit quicker. I feel like those two were really, those two clubs were really the ones that. You really had to look into it and be like, who is really rated in Manchester United? Because I think a lot of their players are, um, they're just rated. They they all say that they're shit. And uh, Liverpool fans, they they also say that kind of stuff. What I want to do, what I do want to do is I want to move on to uh, a few clubs, which said. <laughs> He's ready. I know. I know. La, 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 I don't know why I didn't go first. I can't one. lie. You're, you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're the last club. Don't worry. Yeah, um, okay. we need to go. We need to go to North London. Spurs. And we're gonna go to Spurs. We need to. We need, bro. I. This is timing. easy, bro. Timing, bro. I have my, guys, timing, I have my, I have hey. my answer already. <laughs> and look who bro, just turned yeah. up in the chat. Is well. timing, look who just turned up in the chat as well. <laughs> Hey, Ooh. listen, we have to, bro. We had we had to, bro. And these guys, if I've ever seen somebody rate, if I've ever seen somebody overrate players, it's Spurs fans, bro. I can't, bro. Some of the stuff I've heard this season is crazy, bro. It's nuts. But I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to uh Nick. 
I'll start off with you, my brother. Who who do you think is the most overrated player from Spurs, from Spurs or your top three, I guess? Well, I'm I'm going to say this one player first, just out of spite, because he chose to play for another nation and not his home nation, Dan Kulisevsky. Could have played for Macedonia, but no, decided to play for Sweden, so hold that. Um, I didn't know that. Broad. Yeah, but born uh, in uh, Sweden, so yeah, hold that. Um, just out of sheer spite, not that I actually give a crap. Um you can't say too much about their midfielders in the sense of Madison, who has been injured, but still, I mean, that guy's been probably the standout player of the season. You probably do want to look at Udogi, who's been great. Um, Van de Ven, but we're not looking at the great. We're looking at the overrated. Say it. I'm going to say it just for the sake of it. Christian Romero. Yeah. What is so special about <laughs> Romero? He's a good defender. I know Jacob's in the chat now. He's you know calling you calling us frauds and all that sort of stuff. But like, what is so special about Christian Romero? If a player is so susceptible to so many red cards, how can they be a good a good defender? Like, yes, you can be a good defender in that sense. But like, if I can't rely on you to stay on the pitch for a whole ninety minutes, or there's a chance of you doing some madness on the pitch and then you jeopardizing the outcome of <laughs> The squad and it, it, I was never alive anyway, so it's all good, man. <laughs> yeah. Jeopardizing the squad, like how can you put so much reliance on one player? Um, that's the most obvious one. A lot of uh, it's not just me. I'm sure everyone nodded their heads on the panel when I said that name. So everyone's like, mm, there he is. Um, you probably want to look at maybe also someone like a Richarlison. I think you can't go without saying him. Again, it's the whole GNA thing. Scoring 10 goals in the last three months, whatever it is, cool, but you should be doing that already because you're a striker. That's part of your job. So if we can have the same energy for Darwin Nunez, we can have the same energy for Richarlison, even though they're nowhere near the same, uh, in my opinion. And probably the other one you're looking at is maybe... I'm thinking... Is Basuma an overrated player as well? Well, oh, no. let's That's... let's do, let's do this. Let's do this. When we're you're, you're, the, you're the rival, the season, take it away. No, 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 when we're hearing at the start of the season that most players, most first ones would take him over Rice. I'm sure the Sad was going to bring that up, maybe. Oh, uh, <laughs> and since he's got, I don't know, since the turn of the year or something, I know he went to he went to Afcon, right? I think as well. But mm -hmm. he is. He's not really lived up to the early season promise. Like most of these Spurs players, have not lived up to the early season and injury crisis. Um, it's a mixed bag. He could be up there. Um, I, I'm going to put Kulusevski as well. I think he's severely overrated, even by his own fan base. And he doesn't have the he doesn't have the output as well that he should be that that he should have for being the rated that he sometimes is. I think Romero. Romero is decent, but I think he's only been playing well this season due to Van der Ven, really, for me, when he's been in. I think Van der Ven's a better centre-back. I take yeah. Van der Ven. Yeah. And this is going to sound crazy for me, but because I don't think we have a lot of quality left-backs in the league, I'm going to put a Dogie in there. I forget Dogie is overrated because of the lack of quality of left-backs we have in the league. If you look at all the left-backs in the top left-backs, especially in the top six teams, name me a really good left-back from the top six teams or the... the the classic top six teams. I can't. And I think Odogi's good. And I think Odogi's good. I think he's overrated by a lot of uh, not just Spurs fans but rival fans because there's not a lot of quality at left back. I think I think the only I, I think the only reason why I think the only reason why we're saying that there's not many left backs is because Pep has decided to just do this project, um, which we will get to. No, I think I think I think Adogi's, I think Adogi's, I think Adogi's decent. I think he's good. But it, but Ake would be the best left back if if but we, he's not. If but we Ake's not even. But first of all, Ake's hard to play. Bardio's playing more left back than Ake this season. That's what I'm and saying. If, yeah. if 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 Ake was playing at left back, then bro. He, I'll take, he, he, I'll, yeah, I'll take I'll take Adogi out. But I just want to bring that up because <laughs> I think he gets a bit. Of, so Spurs are like, yeah. So I'll put Basuma up there because of what they were saying about him and Rice. Um, I'll put Kulazewski in there because I think, from what I hear, like when I hear like when I hear Spurs fans, some Spurs fans or some people describing, you'd think he was like an outlet, like he's like up there in terms of DNA and stuff like that. And I'm gonna put Romero in there just to piss off Jacob. <laughs> no, fair enough. Fair enough. I think we should Great. all agree to do that. You know what I mean? I think yeah. Yeah, no, 100%. <laughs> Griggs, before I go and just 
<laughs> let loose. Uh, do you want to go before I let loose? Just yeah, I think Kulusevski is my one for sure. I think in terms of the right winger, I think he sticks. I think he sticks out like a sword, like like just a fish out of water. Like I think mm-hmm. athletically, he's challenged. I don't think he's quick enough. I don't like if you put him against any athletic fullback. I'm not gonna lie, he's gonna get locked up. I just don't. I don't think he's. I think Spurs definitely needed another winger and. Kind of why they brought in Ben and Johnson, right? They spent like 60 M's on him. Yeah. They were looking at him kind of just being maybe take over that spot for Kulusevski. I think Basum was another one. Um, I don't think – I think he's a decent six, but I think the fact – I don't think he's like – in terms of that level of quality, I think there's much better midfielders slash sixes in the league than him. And the fact that he got compared to Declan Rice is kind of crazy. Um, he's definitely not, nowhere near that quality. Like, bro, I'm not going to lie. I, I'll, t- I'll, t- I'll take Endo right now over Basuma. Like, I, I, I'll even go that far, right? So, I think I don't think Basuma is like that. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm not going to say Romero. I'll give you, you know what? You know what? Jacob has a big flag on the background, so I'll give him. I'll give him that respect. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna oh, say Romero. Wow. I actually, actually, also uh, Romero. I think Romero's cool. You get out of here, bro. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up, give it up you're out here. You're out here gasping for his dance. Like you just. Yeah. What the fuck is this, bro? What is this, bro? What is this, bro? Back to the topic on him with Spurs. I think definitely. I think Basuma Kulusevski. Um. I don't know why Timo Werner is in the thumbnail. No one, rate, no one has rated Timo Werner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. um, that's the last time Timo Werner got rated. Um, back when he was at Leipzig. The first time, not the second time, the first time at Leipzig. Um, I'm trying to go with horses in their team. Udogi's cold. Pedro Porro's nice. Van de Ven is insane. Yeah, I think those two. Kulusevski, Basuma. I don't really think there's like another player. I think. Huming Son, I would have said last year. But he's right. he's kind of revital, rev, revitalized himself this year by proving that he's still human son quality. So if this was done in summer 2023, it would have been a different story. But he changed his conversation. Uncomfortable <laughs> conversation with him, though. Uncomfortable <laughs> conversation with him. But he redeemed himself. Oh, so. Um yeah, listen, uh for me it's pretty simple. There's three players, man. Kudasevsky, Ud- um not Odoji, um uh what's his name? Basuma. And uh, Romero, Guti Romero. It's just that simple. Romero, for the reason that whenever he, whenever Van der Ven is not in that defense, he looks a mess, bro. He looks a mess. He can't even compose himself when there's when he hasn't got Van der Ven next to him, bro. They're better as a duo, but by themselves, I think Van der Ven still does okay. But Romero does not does not do well enough without Van der Ven next to him. And I think Van der Ven is. His savior, you could say, or his or his um, shoulder to lean on, bro. When when he's having a hard time in that in that defense, um, Basuma, good God, bro. When I've seen these men saying that he's better, Staffy can hold that, bro. Because this guy said, "Oh, I I, I actually rate uh, Basuma as a six more than Rice. I actually rate him as a six as an overall midfielder. Uh, Rice is obviously better in that aspect. Nah, nah, bro. As a six, he's better than Basuma. As a box to box, he's better than Basuma. I don't care where you want to put Declan Rice, bro. He's better than Basuma, bro. That guy fell off in the African Cup of Nations. That was a despicable display in that African Cup of Nations. And I watched the games." Despicable, bro. And he came back and looks off. He looks spooky right now. It's spooky settings. I know a lot of people like to say that one spooky settings. It makes me laugh, bro, when I say it. But it's spooky settings for the man right now, bro. It's crazy. And I agree with you guys on the Kulisevsky one. I think Kulisevsky right now, his numbers are not matching what he should be getting, bro. You know what I mean? And and he's still getting the ratings for what he should be getting. And he's not producing the numbers. So, um, yeah, I completely agree with you guys. Um, I think for this one, uh, it's probably going to have to be Kulisevsky because because we all said Kulisevsky, but Griggs decided to just do a mad one and just say, oh, okay, we're going to let Romero off. Um, I don't so think it's, it's as overrated to... as those other two. I think those two are actually not good. Romero is actually good. Wow. Well, okay, fair enough. I'm not. I'm not gonna sit here and do the absolute shameless thing and say he's not good. Okay, I, I I do understand he's a good centre back. I just don't think he's at the level where they're putting him at. Yeah, because there's being a good centre back, 
and then comparing him to Saliba. Yeah, like, right. bro, let's let's yeah. let's have some let's have some self respect, some self awareness, realize where we are, realize what's around us, and let's not go overboard, bro. <laughs> like, come on, man, what are we doing here, bro? What are we doing here? <laughs> Once center back was on the pitch for the World Cup final, the other one was riding bench. But that's oh, oh my oh. god! <laughs> wow, wow! Okay. There you are. There you are. Yeah. There Bro, are. that's just that's just because listen, um Didier Deschamps is a is a bozo. That's what that's a World Cup winning manager, by the way. World Cup winning manager, by the way. Bro, I don't World care, man. manager as bro. a player and manager, by the way. And, oh, wow, as a player and manager. The history of football. I don't care, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very very if he had any father, brain cells, he's a supporter. If, How if dare he had any brain brozo. cells, bro? If he had any brain cells, he'd put Saliba and Konate in that in that, in that center back positions, bro. But anyway, that's by the by. Um, moving on to, I know you guys want to get to this, but we're gonna get to we're gonna get to it soon, man. Let's just uh, get Man City out of the way. <laughs> Let's just get Man City out of the way. We we actually need to go through these hella quick because I'm supposed to be on a show at ten o'clock. You know this? <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Well, it's if you hadn't nuts. been saying, if you hadn't been saying his fam- his parents should know about your title when I yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. right, listen, <laughs> when when Greg set me off, bro. Greg set me off, bro. Blame this guy, channel. bro. He set me you're off, bro. You're supposed to go off like this from a guest on your own channel, okay, bro. You're supposed okay, to be the host. Listen, I couldn't stay. I couldn't stay composed, bro. I couldn't stay composed. For a second, man. On the lower, you can me do whatever. Griggs, me and Chris, <laughs> me and Chris have never really got. Oh my god, this Sunday is gonna be crazy. By the way, um, just, just, just look out for it, guys. It's gonna be nuts, yeah. But um, I've never gone her to like normally when me and Griggs talk, it's always like we're just civilized human beings. Like it's, it's always uh, you're, you're, you're talking just straight ball. There's no bias. There's no. It's agendas. hard to win. It's hard to win a war awards with me. Hamza knows, so. Oh yeah, you're such a fraud, bro. I saw that as well. The way these men were just alley ooping on this guy it was crazy. Anyway, um, <laughs> Man City. I think, th- to be honest, are we really gonna do the two? No, three no, names? A, no, no. Not, not, I have There's a one name, bro. I, I guarantee you, I have a different one than everyone else. You go first, then. You go first. Really? Then. Go on, then. Oh, Ross. I think, I think Ruben. Bro, I think you want to talk about Romero getting compared to center backs of high stature. Yeah. I think Ruben Diaz is the one that actually deser- gets it because he's actually had like several accomplishments for Man City. But I personally think for me, Ruben Diaz, if you took him out of that Pep system and you put him into any other defense in the league, he would look like how I said Kulisovsky looks like a fish out of water. I think personally for me, Ruben Diaz would because okay, he did good. that first year that he had. I think he was in, I think he was immense, but I think John Stones being healthy for most of that season really helped him. Yeah. I think even in the treble season last year, I think Ruben Diaz helped a, a lot. And for me, like when you look at a team's best center back, right? When you compare Diaz to everyone else's like best center back, for example, Liverpool, their best center back is Virgil Van Dyke, right? I don't think Diaz him. compares to Virgil Van Dyke at all. Yeah. And they compared your club, yeah. Saliba, and even Gabriel. For me, I think Gabriel has been a better center back than Ruben Diaz the past two years, in my opinion, performance wise. I really think Gabriel. I think Gabriel has. I think last year you look at even at City. I think Aki was. If I had to really say, I think Aki was City's best defender last year, just from a yeah, defensive great. point of view. And John Stones yeah. is obviously the best ball playing center back at the football club. So great. I think when we Diaz is maybe the best box defender. But other than that, I bro, even at the Liverpool game last Good week, point. who's the one that got dropped? That got that had to that had yeah. to hold bench. It was yeah. Ruben Diaz. So I think, the I think yeah, he's he on the play. bench. Yeah, he didn't even play. He didn't even play. I didn't even notice. That's how much he was at the Liverpool. Yeah. And then I think the second. <laughs> I think the second player is a guy that somehow sneaked his way onto a Ballon d'Or top ten, which is a crime against the sport of football. We have to, we have to really, we have to really look at Ballon d'Or uh, rankings as uh, negative in the football community. They need to get reevaluated on how they get con- conducted. We have to hold the criteria for new judges, uh, new voters. Julian Alvarez making the top ten of a Ballon d'Or list just because Lionel Messi carried him to a World Cup is absolutely ridiculous, and because he somehow managed to be on a treble team. So he just got lucky, bro. Yo, because if we're gonna do this, when Pedro Rodriguez might as during the Barca days might as well have been top ten for Ballon d'Or too, because he was winning trophies for oh, Barcelona all the time, and he was scoring the UCL finals as well against us at Wembley. So we might as well have put him in the top ten of Ballon d'Or. This is Julian Alvarez is gonna make it on there, just for um what's it called, just for being having been on Messi's team in the World Cup and being on one of the most dominant club sides because 
He didn't. He doesn't even play in his natural position. He goes. He plays left wing at Anfield. He was. He was horrible. He plays as a center mid. He's horrible. And as a striker, he's just not as good as Erling Holland, right? So I think for me, just the fact that he made the top ten Thank automatically you, that makes that for me makes him overrated just from that sense. And number three, and this is because of a certain guy that nicknames himself the Professor. Uh, I don't know who gave him that nickname, but we no, never gave him that nickname. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe the professors that you had in college were not good because the fact that you can call Hamza the professor is crazy. This guy, Hamza, should be banned from the from the country of Brazil, from the favelas, from Sao Paulo, Rio de Janeiro. He should be Damn. banned from there. Damn. Comparing Jeremy Doku to the one of the greatest skill men of all time in Ronaldinho, the guy that every single one of us went on YouTube to model to to look at him, watch him play, and be like. Yo, let me try this. And none of us could actually ever do it because he was that unique. That, for me, automatically makes him overrated. Also, the fact that he has not had a GA in the league since October. Since that four goal, those four assists against Bournemouth that moved everyone, that Hamza had that had Hamza talking spicy. Since then, my favorite my favorite quote to use, he, used, he had the Tony Snell stat line. Then zero, 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 zero. Just a bunch of zeros. That's all Dermy Doku's stat line has been ever since then. So no disrespect to the kid. He's a kid, bro. I would have I would have said this about him if a certain guy didn't overrate him to that standard. Bro, calling him that is crazy, bro. Other than that, I would have let Doku slide, bro. Because like like Nick said, like Joe was like Ronaldinho. It's their first season, right? So usually get the first season passes. Yeah, right. passes, but he had to bring up, he had to compare him to Dino. I don't I don't even care, care if you compare him to Dino that was at Athletic Minero in like 2014. I don't care which mm. version of Dino you compared him to. Mm. At all, it's a crime. So from that yeah. standard, he's 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 I, I actually rated Doku before because I think for me he's actually one of the best 1v1 skillers in world football. I think he could cook you 1v1, but there's levels in football. And Doku, yeah. I, I, bro, he's not on that level. It, even Hamza on Monday talking about that he would start over Cole Palmer. And today, bro, he's not better than Cole Palmer right now. He's not no one near Cole. Cole. He's just not he's not at that level yet. It's okay. No. He'll, maybe he gets to that level in a couple of years. Maybe Pep does a little bit more fine tuning. Yeah, yeah. You know, he gets yeah. into the brain. He does like his uh, hypotheses and his equations that he that he does as a math scientist. But yeah, man, leave the professor shut to Pep. Hamza, you are not a professor. Mm. Leave that to your coach. He's the actual professor. He's the one that yeah, yeah. has like masters in all this kind of yeah. stuff. You do not have a masters. You don't even have a high school diploma in this. Give yeah, it up. you're right. No, you're right. I mean, Hamza, we know is a he's a he's our guy, but he's a high skill fraud. You know what I mean? He's a slaphead fraud. That's what he's. Uh, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, it, to say that I have a problem with some city fans like Hamza when they pop up. Oh yeah, uh, they can only go. Oh, they go to his GNA, but they can only go back to one game. It's Bournemouth. I mean, yeah. guy's reputation is built on one game, and that's against Bournemouth. That's what it is. Mm. Oh, God forbid he would have scored that goal at Anfield when he hit the post because you never hear the end of it oh, from God. like someone like Hamza. Do you know what I mean? No, Ahmad did by the way. Ahmad Diallo was against Liverpool, but certain people weren't able to do it. But that's that's fine, and the fact that, that he didn't, the fact that then he crashes on like Cole, trying to bring Cole Palmer <laughs> down like to to level up Doku is just it's just madness. Yeah, I'll put Doku in because just like I'm sorry, just like we said earlier before, when someone says like whoops, um, Sabozlai, you know, Gerard, um, you, please don't. This is what do not say. This is why I hate. Oh, he's the next Messi. He's the next Ronaldinho. Do not tar this. Do not tar. First of all, do not diss one of the goats of the game ever. Okay, and second of all. Don't put that on the kid. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> just, yeah, don't, yeah, yeah. just don't do that. Leave him alone to develop. You know what I mean? So, and by the way, he's got the greatest meme when he fails because everyone calls him Beetlejuice. Let's just be real. Right? When he fails, you know what? I never saw it at first until someone <laughs> yeah. mentioned I was like, why are they thinking Beetlejuice? Then I saw two comparisons side by side. Now I can't I look, I can't see it anymore. All I think is, I think I've seen a scary I'm movie too. Man. Where, where, like, uh, Shorty's uh, you know, on drugs and he's here and he opens up his skull and says, You've beaten us in the house. That's what plays through my head every time I see him now. Yeah, so I, do hey. feel, I do feel bad for him. I am with Griggs. I want to see how he develops next mm. season, see how that, that helps because usually it takes about a season or so for oh, Pep should coach him. Yeah, Pep, Pep should coach yeah. it in him, though. Like, I mean, and, and he's playing in a, in a position that Grealish yeah. plays in as well, which is another yeah. player you could probably argue is maybe a little bit overhyped as well. Yeah. And I also agree with Griggs. This is the first time I'm seeing like Pep shoehorn a player in nearly everywhere into his team, and that's Julian Alvarez. I've seen this guy play like beside Rodri at some parts during this season in a pivot, and it's like I've never seen Pep do this before with one player, like shoehorn him in to the team. Mm. Like he was a not that when he played left wing against Liverpool, he was just anonymous. I mean, he was just he just he didn't do anything, and he's been stinking up the place. But he plays nearly every single game now. I can understand when Harlem was injured, no problem, but Julian Alvarez in. But 
He's now playing every single game, but he's not having an he's not having a positive impact on the game. It's sort of like a withdrawal, and then they have to take him mm. off. And the third one that no one mentions, I disagree with Diaz. I don't know, I think it's a good one. I'm gonna put Vardio in there. Yes, I'm gonna put Vardio oh, in there. He was literally gonna be my pick. I'm gonna Vardio in there because no one mentions it. Everyone likes to mention the price, like with all our clubs who we bought, the players that they think we overrate. But this guy was bought for what 75 million pounds or something mm. like that. He, by the way, he has played at left back in his career, so none of this. Oh, he's playing left back. No, you just didn't know. You just didn't know he played at left back. I have a soft. I have a soft spot for creation. I know you do, but if we're being, 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 if we're being logical, and when other when other rivals bring up ours, like, oh, you paid this much for him, Vardio was up there. You know what I mean? Seventy five million pounds for Vardio. I know they were quoted at ninety million, but for me, he he goes there because he he's. Yeah, he's just not made the impact. I think well, what people may have I, thought, even. and that that's that's on Pep as well. So I'm surprised you lot like, hasn't um, mentioned. I'm surprised you lot like, haven't mentioned the fact that Hamza called this guy Baby Maldini. Yeah, can we just can that. we just bro? I, he did, called I, him I didn't him remember Baby that. Maldini. The disrespect, Baby Maldini. Bro, did the it? disrespect Maldini and bro. Gotta ban, we got a ban from the Coliseum too now. Bro, this guy's banned bro, from Brazil. He's banned from the Coliseum. He's banned in Greece because I said so. It's cool. It's cool for so him, I say he's the biggest waffler, man. I, you know um, what? The Greeks is right. I want to bring up his next time you're on a lower, you guys. Say he's the most fortunate thing about him is that he has professor in his name. Yeah? I have I have a That's weird most... feeling Sunday on, Sunday he's, on Sunday he's gonna get cooked. I, I just have a I have this weird feeling that he's just gonna be in a, in, in, in in the hot seat. He's getting cooked. I just I have some weird weird reason. I have a, I just have a feeling that he's gonna get cooked. Um, <laughs> but big up to Hamza. Um, uh, Phineas says, are they overhyped or suppressed by Pep? Good question. It's a good point. Well, a good point. Good question. That that but that but see we we're going like based on overrated by us, overrated by the fans, and like we got one guy who's telling us baby Maldini, baby Ronaldinho. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So. You know, it's it's one of those it's one of those or oh, Alvarez or oh, Alvarez. Um, that's if you're with Alvarez, one of my boys. What did he say about Alvarez? I, one of my boys that's a, that's a City fan that actually rate his opinion, even like call Alvarez like a Benzema type player, like in the type profile, and he's clearly not that. So no, no, when, no, no. This is when I went on Alvarez when he compared Alvarez to Batistuta the other week. My, oh my, my, God. my, 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 from Florence, he's banned from Rome, and he's banned from Buenos Aires just for Batistuta alone. He's gone from Mr. 305 to Mr. 115. What a shame. Oh, no, but there is legit, but there's also, apart from Hans, there is legitimate stuff in there to say, like, especially like Julian Alvarez, he's like all over the place and he's not Batistuta in any position now. doing yeah. well. Do you know what I mean? And Doku, Doku's unfair, but he's living off a game against Bournemouth. And we've got different for the other the other position. Me and Greece got different, obviously, but we've got legitimate claims to it. So Yeah, but like it's not uh, even like a game where you can say, like, wow, he really tore him to shreds, bro. It's Bournemouth. If he did that against <laughs> like us or or uh, an Arsenal or or a Spurs or someone mm. challenging at least in some capacity up there in the top six year, I'd say fair enough. But against Bournemouth, come on, man. I hope that's gonna be. Like, I don't think he's not even a left winger. That's the thing. I think he's a right winger. I think Pub has put him in a position where he to fail. But it's a fail. Oh, uh, listen, listen. I think because I I genuinely need to go, so we might yeah. have... skip I the Chelsea section. Let's not. Ah. No, no, no. Hold on a minute. Hold <laughs> on. Nah, no, you need to skip the Arsenal section because we're top of the league. So, yeah, so right. basically, what we need to do is skip the Arsenal section because there like, you are. Ah, there, there you are. I'm joking. There I'm joking. There I'm joking. I'm there joking. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna start off with Nick and um, Nick. Just give me one player. Just pick one player from uh, Chelsea. Pick one player from Arsenal. And who do we have? Who else do we have left? That's it. That's it. Hey, yeah. One. So, one, one play. Yeah, yeah, you have to think now. That that gives now time we can only do one when it comes to Arsenal. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let that's me, what I was gonna let say. Me, like, let, mm. me let me start off. Let me start off while you guys think. While you guys think, I'm gonna start. Pink off, hype. Yeah. I already have my answers. Yeah, I got it as well. Yeah. Um, oh wow. Okay. Um. So <laughs> <laughs> I said big hype, bro. <laughs> that's so funny. Griggs is actually jokes. Um. Yeah. So listen for me. I'm going to start off by, um, for Arsenal, 
I think a uh, overrated player is Zinchenko, is who I'm gonna go for. Um, I think I think he's he's very overrated. Um, I I can't lie. Listen, um, from from certain players, from certain people, just putting this guy in left back conversation that he didn't need to be in. Uh, defensively, he's not the best. Um, of course, going forward, he's 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 good, um, but. Also, I said this yesterday, emotionally, bro, this guy is, needs to get his emotions in check real quick. But anyway, that's um, that's enough of that on my play. I'm not going to dunk on him too much. That's you lots his job. Um, there you are. Um, Chelsea, I'm going to go for... Um, I'm sorry, but I have to go for Enzo Fernandez. That's fine. I have That's to. He's in the thumbnail. I knew you were going to pick him. Bro, What's the he, play? He, he, <laughs> we're not even answering. It's all in the thumbnail. Bro, <laughs> we're all in the thumbnail. It's all in the thumbnail. Pretty meditative, um, man. What a roar. Uh, I'm going to go for Enzo Fernandez. I think Where's this guy is absolutely. There you are. Um, I'm going to go for Enzo. For you guys were the suspense. You guys were coming in with different takes. You know, that's right. you know. Come on, man. Um, I'm going to go for Enzo Fernandez. I think this guy is rated way above where he is playing right now. Absolutely, um, just just not hitting the levels that he's supposed to be hitting um, in that midfield. And I and I think he's been playing in every single position. And I don't think he's really shined so bright in not even one of those positions yet. Maybe it's getting used to the league, but um, yeah, until he does that, bro, he, he he's just too overrated right now from the fan base in my personal That's opinion. Fine. Um, Nick, let's go to you, bro. One from Arsenal, one from Chelsea. Hey, hey guys, uh, how, uh, how about you pick a different player apart from Enzo if you can? Yeah, that's what I would like. Yeah, it's just predictable otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> North London forever, eh? Um, one player. <laughs> one player overrated. Uh, yeah, based on performances this season... Uh, no real outputs. Um, Griggsy pointed it out earlier. Got to give it to Martinelli, number 11 on that left side there. He, he's got to be better than what he is, man. Like, if we're going to have the same energy for Diaz, all the good dribbling skills and everything else, like scoring a couple of goals. I mean, Diaz has got goals as well, but Martinelli, really you know, good player, but probably still has a bit more to go to where he probably needs to be at. So I'd say Martinelli in, in my my shot there. And then for the old Chelsea, the old Chelsea, the old London Blues, you know what I mean, yeah? Um, yeah his, his accent is on point, bro. Like, that's so hey, crazy. Bro, I, I can do accents, hey. man. But my uncle and my cousin, they're Chelsea fans, so he hasn't been talking lately. So thankfully, <laughs> thank, thank, thank for that. Um, <laughs> yeah, Chelsea is a bit of an interesting one because there's a whole lot of players in there that you can pick and choose between. But if I'm not going to go for Enzo, we'll give cut him some slack because everyone's already been slagging him out. Um, I'll probably go with yeah, this is tough, eh? Um, see, Chelsea fans and Rob fans are like they'll, they'll mention Conor Gallagher, even though he runs around like uh, like his life depends on it. Um, <laughs> That's me <been> polite. <laughs> But he runs, but he presses, he runs, but he runs. He runs. But what does he do? Yeah. Um, it's like the Jordan Henderson thing from from Ajax. Oh, look at that running. Oh, look at that pressing. Oh, look at that mentality. Bro. It's like bros just chasing bro, the like ball super, down the It's like last year, Mount. It's basically Super Saiyan Ryu versus Super Saiyan Kane. Uh, Ken, oh, you know, from Super. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, bro. It's one or the other. Um, I don't even know if people will still rate him anymore. Raheem Sterling. <laughs> Lately, he's had a few stinkers. Mm. It's probably a toss-up between Sterling and... And Caicedo. However, I'll say Caicedo can be redeemed. Yeah. Sterling, maybe not so much. Yeah. No, no, that's that's understandable. Um, yeah, I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Martinelli uh, because he's living off a deflective goal uh, this season, even though it's a big one oh. against City. Uh, special mention to special mention to Ben White. I've no I've not heard any hype for Ben White until this England thing happened this season. For many Arsenal fans, so don't even try it, sad. All right, don't even try it. Even in the Ter uh, Terrace group chat, I've not heard, not heard as much for Ben White as in the last uh, few weeks with the England uh, hype. Listen, he's doing well, but you know, I've not heard that much from Arsenal fans say he's up there as one of their top players. Um, for Chelsea, as the Enzo is just a debate in the Chelsea fan base alone, let alone anywhere else. Um, uh, so I'm gonna do it by my fans. I, I think Gallagher's. I think Gallagher, Gallagher's up there before anyone says anything. I'm not praising people for running around. I'm going to go for Ben Chilwell. 
I'm going to go for Ben Chilwell because this guy, this guy in my own fan base, when someone tells me he's miles ahead of certain other players that play at left back, and then I see this guy play, I just don't understand. And then he's given my club, and then he's given the captain's armband as well. I just, I just, I just, that's just another thing to add to the Poch agenda, essentially. Uh, do you know what I mean? It's just this guy's. This guy's over. He's a much better left wing back than he is a left back for starters. Let me just say that right now. And for the f- fact that if he's that highly rated that you don't even get picked for your national team, no matter if it's Gareth Southgate or not, then I've got to question you right now. And I just think he and the fact we gave him a, a, a an extension on his contract last year as well just makes me just makes me mad. So I'm going to put I'm going to put. The, some people go, why don't you put Sterling? That's another debate in our fan base as well. He's not he's not like loved in our fan base. He's not overrated in our fan base. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put uh, Ben Chilwell, not Nicholas Jackson, because no one no one overrates him in our fan base, and no one overrates him by rivals as well. So and he's actually pulling up trees so, at the moment. So yeah, I'm gonna put Ben Chilwell as well. So Ben Chilwell, Martinelli nah. for me. See you, what you should have done, Sad, is start with enough. Chelsea. And then what you should have done is start with Chelsea because they were the multiple ones, and then do the single ones for the other clubs. That's what you should have. Yeah, done, I man. don't. I bro, well, <laughs> listen. I had a mare. I had a mare. Before, <laughs> before we go, on, before, before, the beginning, but he's a fraud, bef- so. before, oh. before we go to before we go to Griggs there, um, <laughs> for some weird reason, Vel decided to send this to my DM and just told me post it, post it. So I don't know. We're <laughs> posting this for what some weird hell? reason. I don't, know, I don't know what's why? going on. I don't know why we're showing why? this, but he wanted to show it to Griggs so badly, bro. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm a bit. To be honest, I'm 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 not very comfortable showing that on the screen. I'm, I'm not um, comfortable with this either. But but um I'm I'm I guess Vel, you're happy now. I don't know, bro. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> but Griggs, anyway, let us know, man. Let us know. What, what, this what, is guys a fraud, bro. Sam, this is what we are giving power to, by the way. Bro, they give him power, bro, and all of a sudden this guy just does the madness, bro. I don't know what's going on. Uh, anyway, uh, go let's on. Go, let's go Arsenal first. I'm not gonna do only one player because that's that's too big. Um, so <laughs> we have. <laughs> We have Zinchenko because he's overrated. Um, not a good left back to begin with. And Kiwiro is a much better player than him. Uh, we got Thomas Party, who they have been talking about the whole season. That when he, comes oh, back, yeah. he's injured. That, he gets injured, that, he gets injured. That, have some he's respect. overrated. They that they're, they're making it sound like he's Makalele 2.0. They got to give that up. Um, Martinelli, Bro, in my opinion, cool. I think because no, well, actually, I actually like Martinelli, <laughs> but they put him in conversation that he just don't ever deserve to be in. And the fact that apparently in the comments side they have told me. That you thought that he's better than Marcus Rashford. So just because of that, he is thrown right onto my overrated list. Ooh. Um, Gabo Jesus, he is not a number nine. <laughs> he's got and ever, si- and ever since he's he came out, the- and ever since he came out to starting eleven, Arsenal actually started scoring goals. That's all I'm gonna say. Kai no, Havertz, bro, he's a no, and Kai Havertz, just because you made a song about him, you you disrespected Shakira's legacy of the song in the 2010 World Cup, and bro, you they made make a song about Kai Havertz. Just because of that, he's overrated. That's five. That's Arsenal done. Uh, Chelsea. It's because the biggest um, fraud ever. Thiago so Silva. I think the fact that he kept getting played and there's people, there's some people that think that he's still the Thiago Silva of old. I think just for me for that, I think no, he's, he's just old. Center. Yeah, I think he's an all timer <laughs> center back. I think he's an all timer <laughs> center back, and he's one of the best of his generation. But you know, you just gotta yo. Sometimes so he's like an old man walking. We just you just gotta send him back to Brazil. Yeah, have his career there. Put him out Enjoy the, yeah, yeah, put him out as a bro. Enjoy the favelas, all that kind of stuff. Wow. I think, yo, let's do that. Put him out to stud. Enzo's bait. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not gonna lie. And I blame Top Bully more for Enzo being the way that he is than Enzo himself. Um, Sterling, but I think Winter Server said it's kind of like it's kind of how I do with Gakpo. It's like kicking a man while he's down. Like, bro, <laughs> Sterling's just not getting rated right now. So it's kind of clip for that. Um, is there anyone else? The sassy, I don't. I, I, I there's also some yeah. talk about the sassy with me. I never really rated him. I, I always thought, like, for me, Badi Shilly was a better signing. I think Cole was better than him. Um, and I think there's just better other French center backs oh, out there. Sorry, the mate. <laughs> sorry, uh, that's it. You misclicked, yeah, you, bro. I misclicked. You, 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 you can give that up as well, by the way. Just like oh, I click older, just oh. like I click comes on a list oh. series, by the way. That's not happening. So, um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's about it for Chelsea. There's not all the players that I rate at Chelsea. I think are actually popularly rated. Like I think right. Malo Gusto yeah. gets popularly rated. I think Nico Jackson mm. for me gets popularly rated. Um, who else is there? Carney, who doesn't really have he was injured most of the years. Yeah, so he yeah, really he's, have he's any like he can't really like do anything. So, That's what I said before. Yeah. You're in our clubs. Mm. It's hard to it's hard to overrate yeah. this because we're having mm. like mediocre seasons, right? That's do you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's a good list, but yeah. I was yeah. trying to think of anyone else. Anyone else at Arsenal that can be. Nah. 
It's it's much bro, easier. Bro, Allah, you're the player. biggest fraud. Qasem Billah, you're the biggest fraud, bro. Look at this guy, bro. <laughs> oh, this guy put Qasem. You and, and, and donkeys are the same. What is the difference between you and a donkey? The donkey, you take the whip, you hit him, and, and, and the donkey's like, e or e or That's the donkey. You're a donkey. You just make it very easy, by the way. Bro, it's like, it's like an easy target. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> guys, listen. We are out of here. Um, thank you very much for tuning in with us. Um, thank you very much for coming through. Listen, big up to the panel, big up to Griggs, big up to uh Andy Winter Surfer, and big up to Nick as well. Um, thank you very much um for tuning in with us, guys. Uh, make sure to smash the like button, make sure to subscribe to the channel um if you forget to do so. Um, I am well, I'm gonna be sending this over to um I'm gonna be sending you guys over to uh Ziad, but Oh, I'm going if as you, well. If you guys, if oh, you God. guys don't, if if you guys, if you, <laughs> if you guys don't want to watch the ad, but you probably should, smash a like there, and then I'm also over on Jacob's channel. So yeah, cool. um, whichever one you want to, whichever one you want to choose, guys, um, make sure to get it done. But like both streams. Like Jacob's stream and Ziad's stream, whichever one you go to, anyway. Put two good um, overrated in Ziad's stream. Put and Vel, your and Vel, Vel is a fraud of the highest caliber. Yes, now. yes, you're right. That and, ever seen, by right. The, way. the fact that he had to find an image like that to Photoshop your face on there. Yeah, is crazy. Right, Dad, we got to go. No, no. We, what I is have, his search? I have to have a talk with his hand. This is this is we we <laughs> giving too much power to the wrong people. This is what like his search is. He's a paid employee. He's a paid employee. He's doing his job. He's a paid employee. No, 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 no. Hey, listen, you guys. We out, man. Peace out, you people, man.